What's up YouTube? In today's episode, I'm going to show you guys how to adjust your valves in a K-Series engine. We make the strings louder. Alright, so let's talk about why we would be adjusting our valves in the first place. There's typically two reasons why you're going to adjust. First reason is, let's say your engine's just noisy, it's in your service interval. I think at about 100,000 miles, Honda recommends checking them or at least having someone check them just to make sure that they're in adjustment and if they're not then you're already in there so you can adjust it second reason which is the reason we're doing it today is let's say you rebuild your engine uh, you just slap down a new head or you put new valve springs any of those reasons valve adjustment is going to be out so that's going to be a reason why we're doing it today because we just slapped the head in on my rsx i'll leave a link in the description to that video of putting the head on now i noticed as i was putting everything together the valves they're too tight so I'm gonna show you guys how to adjust them and what the specs are for a K20 engine. Here we already have our engine set up to top dead center. We're gonna be working with the first cylinder, intake side and exhaust side. Now the spec for the intake side is eight to 10 thousandths of an inch. Right here, you guys can see, I have a nine thousandths fueler gauge. So we're gonna see if uh, it's in spec or if it's an out. So you're gonna wanna go right under the uh, actual adjustment on this screw, right on top of where the retainers are of your valve springs. And as you can see, I can't get this one in there. Let's go on the opposite side. All right, this is, this should be going in with some drag to it since we're in the middle of our spec and it's not even going in so i can see this is out but just for video purpose let's go smaller here we're going to use a seven thousandth now so that's way below spec this just slide right in as it does but this has drag on it so that's how it should have fell with the eight thousandths or the nine. And this won't even go in on this side. All right, so we know we gotta adjust these. So now the spec for the intake, uh, the exhaust side is, exhaust side spec is 10 to 11. So right here, I'm going to use the 10 thousandths. We're gonna see if we can get it in on the exhaust side. Sorry if I'm blocking you guys. All right, it won't go in. So I can already tell the exhaust side needs to be adjusted. So now I'm gonna show you guys the way to adjust these. All right, what I'm gonna use to adjust this, which is what anyone in their garage probably has, is a 10 millimeter wrench and a flathead screwdriver. Now there is a special tool you can buy to do this. I don't do valve adjustments enough. I personal life to really justify buying it. If you guys do valve adjustments on the regular, then by all means, that's a great investment. I don't really need the tool, so I'm just gonna use this. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the 10 millimeter right over the nuts, because these are 10 millimeter nuts. Put it right over there. Put my screwdriver right up top. What I'm gonna do is crack it loose. That's it, you don't wanna go all the way, just crack it. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my 9,000 feeler gauge, put my wrench back on there, and try to see if this goes under. Which we saw before it doesn't, so I'm gonna get my flathead screwdriver, put it right up top, and we're gonna turn counterclockwise just a smidge. Until we can slide it in. And now, I have some resistance, so I'm going to turn back just a little more. And valve adjustments take some practice. You need to know what you're feeling for. So you could try it, but uh, just have some idea of how to use feeler gauges. So right now I still have, I have some good drag. I have a little too much, so I'm going to go back just another smidge. it and that's not bad I'm gonna call that good 
So now, here's the tricky part. You wanna hold that screwdriver, make sure it doesn't move, and tighten this nut back up. Grab your feeler gauge again. As you can see, we got good resistance. And like I said, the spec for the intake side was eight to 10 thousandths of an inch. I'm using a nine, which has some good, good drag to it. So I think that's good. Now we're gonna do the same on the opposite side. So I just adjusted the two front intake ones. I'm going back with my 10,000 feeler gauge. And we're gonna test this out. So this should have some more resistance than 9,000. or some more drag. And as you can see, I can get it in. It takes a little force, but it goes in and out and it has drag. That's good. Just like this one. Okay. So now we're gonna go to the exhaust side. The exhaust side, the spec for that was 10 to 11 thousandths. Alright guys, so we just got done adjusting the exhaust side. Now this is the same process throughout the rest of the head. The only thing you're going to have to do is with each cylinder you do, make sure that cylinder is at top dead center. So now what we're going to do next, we're going to put number two to top dead center. After we're done with number two, we do the same number three, top dead center, number four, top dead center. And once you do all of that, then you're just going to go through them all again, make sure they're all good and your valve adjustment is done. All right guys, so this is an update after that last clip you just saw. For some reason, I can't find the rest of the footage uh, from that day. This is an, up, like I said, this is an updated version. So I'm gonna try my best to try to explain the finishing process of this valve adjustment because after that last scene, you're, you know, all you gotta do is follow that those same steps throughout the rest of the cylinders. But I'm gonna basically, I'm gonna give you Honda's way of doing it. So after you finish, the valve adjustment on cylinder number one. I'll throw a picture up right now just to show you what top dead is you know supposed to look like just in case if you guys forgot. So that's how it's gonna look like. You see how that has two dots on top of the uh, the cam gears. Honda wants you to turn the engine, well the camshafts 90 degrees. So those two dots are gonna turn 90 degrees to the three o'clock position. So once those two dots are at the three o'clock position, you're gonna to go to cylinder number three. That cylinder is gonna be ready at top dead center. You're gonna adjust those. After you're done with those, turn the cams another 90 degrees. So from the three o'clock, they're gonna go down to a six o'clock position. And once those are at six, a six o'clock position, you're gonna to go to cylinder number four. So cylinder number four is ready for the valve adjustments. And then one more rotation of the cams, another 90 degrees, that's gonna bring it to nine o'clock. And then you're gonna jump to cylinder number two and do the uh, valve adjustment on cylinder number two. And then you're basically done. Then you can rotate the engine, make sure everything's good. Like I said, go through everything, make sure all your clearances are, they're in spec, throw the valve cover on and you're done. So that's basically just a couple extra steps that I had on tape to show you of what the actual cam gears look like. For some reason I lost that film. So that's my bad guys. Other than that, I hope this uh, little tutorial helped out, you know. It's, I try to give you as much information as I can. If it helped, definitely leave me a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, tag that little bell, you know, that's the new thing now. You guys can uh, hit me up on my Instagram if you need any more information, any more help, keep up with the latest updates. And other than that, I'll catch you guys on the next video.
Peace.